Liberty.org. You know, I just moved to Laconia like a month ago, and I was at a convenience store, and a guy seen my sweatshirt, and he's like, Oh, Coplock, I seen that like four months ago, changed my life. And so, I guess, like Jacob said, the police are the biggest recruits for making people out there who are wondering why these things happen to them. And even though there is an alarming rate, in my opinion, that justify it as like, oh, I'm a victimless crime person, that's a, I should be in jail, or you shouldn't have those things done, or you should have those things done to you, da 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 or people who like attack us for filming them, you know, I've, I've had people spit on or like ridiculed like while you're filming other, you know, police officers who could harm them, but uh, it's still encouraging to get like those other interactions where folks are like, I, I realize they're not alone, I think they, they chalk it up to that because that's a lot of other people want or tell them to feel about it. And they don't realize that there are, you know, a lot of other people that are just like them. I mean, I've always said that if jails would just realize, like, how many of them are in there for nothing and decide they'd want to leave, they could, they could leave at any time because they have the numbers, but they justify it in their minds. They're, they're, they're content with it at the moment. So all it's like the ones we're all involved with are pretty cool to help with that. Yeah, and, and to buttress all this, I would just say that... Um you know, connecting with others, like one reason that Cop Lock's been able to have such a reach is, is, is that it's decentralized, so there's a bunch of groups, and it's at least just people in certain areas connecting, and it's a f platform for people to share their incidents and support each other and make known wrongs that happened and try to seek, get some accountability, you know, for and point to the individual and not just label a whole association of individuals, the whole agency, as being the aggressor. So, like, those are things that have been uh, really beneficial, so... I don't know, connecting with people around you is key and, you know, supporting each other. There's a lot of, we, you know, we could talk about the technology that allows for that. I mean, there's a lot of cool applications that already exist or that are coming out just for people to communicate and sort of like be able to have each other's back more um, quickly and efficiently. But Sure, numbers game, but yeah. any other questions? Yeah, um, I'll save you guys the whole story, but I was recently stopped and detained illegally by the Border Patrol, 90 miles from the border. And I was wondering, um, I felt like my rights were violated. I got paperwork from the supervisor that I could fill out and mail to the Department of Justice to file a complaint. I have officer names, I have a timeline. Um, what else can I do to make them accountable for what they did to me? Were you in El Paso? I was in White Sands, New Mexico. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I don't, know, I don't know if some folks here know, but like there's like checkpoints that are like not on the border. Ah! Ah! Or that roads that don't even cross where most people probably here are aware, but I assume that's the one of them that you're talking about. I, I'm a U.S. citizen. I've never even left the country. I have no passport. I was driving from California to Indiana. And I did not expect this checkpoint. It came out of nowhere, and it was a full 90 miles from the border. I made sure to ask them, where's the border? That's 90 miles away. And I've seen the YouTube videos before of checkpoint refusals, and I thought they would just wave me through. And it ended up being a bigger deal than that. They ended up asking me a lot of questions. And then at the point that I refused to answer their questions and invoke my Fifth Amendment rights, then they got the dog out and did their thing. Did, so uh, did you video it? Uh, they videoed me actually. Uh, oh, well, you should get that. You should get that yeah. video. Yeah, I, I don't know much about that. Those, you know, that procedure, how successful it'll be. I haven't had much success with like the government giving me all the information to incriminate themselves. But um, <laughs> <laughs> just doesn't happen too often. But hi highlighting in whatever way, and like so, like Coplock is one outlet where like Coplock.org/submit is where people can share their stories. And you know, maybe you, you don't have video, or you know, it's not like. Uh, a slam dunk one of some of the more pinnacle cases over the last year but it's at least letting others know like we were talking about before that you know that you're not alone New Hampshire's State House among the least bad governing institutions on earth but even here legislators plot theft and destruction however they don't do it without opposition the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance stands in their path and stands ready to train you in the ways of the Citizen Freedom Lobby. Visit nhliberty.org to get involved.